I'm feeling a lot better than I was a week ago. Yeah, I've got things to do, places to be. Yeah. What do you mean? Like and subscribe. Uh -oh. sheep coat on. It's Friday the 1st of June and I took the past week off vlogging just to get my head back in the right headspace. I suck at words. <laughs> I'm feeling a lot better than I was a week ago. I was going to sit down and film like a sit down video on completely what I am feeling right now. I was going to just like express all of my thoughts and my feelings to you but I thought that was kind of just like a waste of time to have that as just like one whole separate video so I just thought I would include it in this vlog just so you guys know where I'm at. My YouTube friend Taylor Nicole, I'll have her channel linked down below. She filmed a video and she got like quite like emotional and she was like very raw with her viewers which I love and her video was about not knowing what she wanted to do with the rest of her life she is currently like working on getting her own business up and running which is absolutely incredible and she's like i'm going somewhere but for some reason i'm still so uncertain about the future and i was like wow made me feel really at peace with what i was struggling with because i'm struggling with the exact same thing except i'm not working towards anything at this point in time it just made me feel like at peace knowing that i wasn't alone that is purely the only reason i'm filming this right now i don't want you guys to feel sorry for me i'm just here to give my thoughts and feelings because you guys are literally the nicest people ever and you just like make my life 10 times better and so I just want to share every part of my life with you as cheesy as that sounds but if anyone else is in the same boat as me I hope this video makes you feel a little bit better you're not alone keep pushing through look at Hector he looks so good the cafe that I am a barista at recently hired a bunch of new younger people that are obviously a lot cheaper than me. I'm almost 20. I have lost quite a few shifts recently and that's like given me a lot of time off work which is great but not for a very long period of time and it's just given me like a lot of time to think and a lot of time to just not do anything. Luckily I recently joined the gym so that's me taking up some of my time and luckily I have YouTube as a side hustle and I've been doing this in my spare time because like that's what I've always done but I've just had a lot more spare time recently than usual and when I'm alone and have a lot of time to do nothing my brain just goes crazy and it just never stops until I'm busy doing something. I absolutely love being busy but like I honestly haven't been busy in like a year. I wish I was busy studying and like doing my assignments and stuff but I'm not studying because I don't know what I want to study and I've just been like playing on my mind all month. I have gotten goosebumps already. I think that because I've had so much spare time to let my brain go crazy, I have gone crazy <laughs> and I've been just in a funk for the past two to three weeks, I would say, for the majority of May. <laughs> I've taken the last like five days off vlogging and I feel really good. I've had a lot of time to think in a good way about what I can start doing to make this situation better. So today after work, I went to my manager and I asked for more shifts, which was really terrifying, but it went really well and she said that she'll see what she can do. So that's really good. It is the start of the new month and I am ready to just kick it like I am ready to smash out June I'm literally so excited I'm gonna eat really clean I mean I'm gonna eat as clean as I can I'm gonna train really really hard like I'm really really excited to just smash out gym this month and I'm gonna save my money really really well and I'm very excited that I've set those goals for myself and I'm just ready to achieve them but anyway that's the end I was in a funk I'm out of it now I'm ready to just live my life it's currently 4 30 p.m and i had work all day but now that i filmed this clip got this off my chest i am going to plan out my week because my roster came out today and i'm also going to budget because i got paid yesterday so adulting this was only This is my look for grocery shopping on a Friday night. <laughs> Let's go. I actually just got back from having dinner with my brother and his girlfriend. They invited me over for dinner. Good times. But I'm a grandma and it's 9.30 p.m. So I came home. I'm wearing socks and thongs. <laughs> but I bought these pajamas that came out the other day because Retro has them, Amy has them, and I needed to have them in my life. 
I actually look like such an idiot in these, but they are so comfy. I also did a few little room updates while I was gone. First of all, I finally put up a Polaroid wall and it's in the corner of my bed and it's so cute. The three smaller prints are all from Anne Charlotte. I'll have her Instagram and website linked down below. 10 out of 10 would recommend. She's also just like the loveliest human ever. And then this one here is from Riccio. She do that for me because she's an actual legend. And then the rest are just Polaroids and I just am in love with this corner so much. I also put some lights around my window, which I am actually just obsessed with. Oh my goodness. And I also did it in my bathroom as well. How cute. And last but not least, I finally put up my letterboard. I've had this sitting on my floor for so long, but I finally unwrapped it, took all the letters apart. And my first quote on it is 1 Corinthians 16, 14. But now that I've made my room all cozy, I'm going to hop right in that bed and go to sleep because I'm exhausted. Okay, good night. morning egg team these sunglasses i'm sorry i was meant to play soccer today at 3 p.m and i got a message at 7 30 saying the game's cancelled and i was like oh okay that sucks and then i was like oh my gosh that means i can go to the gym because i literally love these gym classes so much but i can't go to them a lot because i'm working or i have soccer and normally on saturdays i have soccer so i can't do both because like my body would just die but today now i don't have soccer so now i can go to the gym class and i'm so excited it hit 7 30 and i like got up got dressed and now i'm in the car park waiting to go to the gym class and now i really Really pretty girl is gonna park next to me. I'm gonna talk to you later. That was really hard and I am sweaty, so I'm gonna go home and shower and then move on with my day. I've got things to do, places to be. I love Saturdays. It's not like, oh my gosh, this is the best thing I've ever tasted in my life, but it's not. This is disgusting. I can't drink it, you know? This is my outfit for today. I have on this black t-shirt that just says New York on it from Cotton On. This is from the men's section. I then have this oversized denim jacket on that has some rose detailing. This is from Kmart, or what do you mean? Belt on it from Dotty, and then I've just got on my Crossroads jeans. They have roses there, but I feel like that's a bit too matchy-matchy, so I've just like tried to cover them up. <laughs> and then, of course, I have my low-top Connie's on. But now I'm actually going to head off to some markets. I went to these markets a few vlogs back and I got so many messages asking which markets I went to. So I go to the markets at Rock Lee. They're on every Saturday and Sunday morning. They have different things on on Saturdays and Sundays. But on Saturdays they have fresh fruit and veg. <laughs> finished off at the markets and we're gonna show you what I got. I took my tomato bag with me and it is full and my arms hurt. I got some ladyfinger bananas. I only got four of these but I'm gonna have these in my smoothies. I got five massive oranges. I got two sweet potatoes. I buy more than this. It just all goes to waste so I got two little sweet potatoes and then lastly I just bought a lettuce. That's it. <laughs> all of that fruit and veg came to $6.50. What do you mean? So that was really good. Oh I want a coffee. No guys, don't worry. I'm here. Welcome to my vlog again. I'm back. You didn't have to wait two months this time. <laughs> Go me. Like and subscribe. It's Tiana's mother's birthday and she's having a nice family dinner because we're family. We're Tiana's family. I, I wish. wish. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine how pretty I'd be if I was related to those Legit. Here's a photo of Tiana. She's the most beautiful person. Here's a photo of me. We're the same. Okay, so I'm gonna get ready for dinner because I don't want my face looking like this. Yeah. Where's yeah. Tiana? Yeah. Yeah. You can see Love my 
Moana. What a bop. So funny. Hook in. On an average, how much footage do you actually use from the stuff that I film? <laughs> Still relatable. This is my OOTD. I'm wearing this star so top that ties up at the front. This is from Cotton On. I have Rachel's sheep coat on that I'm just keeping on for right now. Just um, for your information, it looks way better on Georgia than it does on me. Stop. I have my dotty belt on. I have crossroads jeans on. And I have Connie's on. My jacket is from David Jones. Gee, fancy. Chill. My t shirt is from Kmart. Woohoo! Where are your jeans um, from? Jazz jeans ripped by oh me. Oh my gosh, you need to chill. You have brands that are too expensive. Yeah. Oh, you're. Yeah. Oh, sure. What are those? Can we have a OOTD? Oh yeah, boys. Kmart, Kmart. My mum. <laughs> <laughs> I already had dinner. <laughs> 2.28 a.m. And we home. Shout out to Abby and April that I met. You God guys are legends. You. Actually, this is probably going to be enough footage for one vlog. This is going to be the end of the vlog. If you guys enjoyed, give it a thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you in my next vlog in the very near future. Bye. Get <laughs> on